let's read BB-8 on the Run. BB-8 on the Run. Written by Drew Daywalt. Illustrated by Matt Myers. BB-8 wasn't used to being on his own. And it was scary. Very scary. His friend Poe had told him to run. Get as far away from here as you can, the pilot had said. I'll come back for you. But BB-8 had seen the explosion back in Tuanol Village, and he feared Poe was gone. Now it was all up to him to get the top secret map to the Resistance so they could find Luke Skywalker. All up to him. That was scary too. As he took shelter for the night, BB-8 remembered something else Poe had once said to him. It's easy, buddy. You do good things, and good things will come back to you. But how could such a small droid do such a big job? The next morning, as BB-8 resumed his journey, he was glad to come across someone else. It was Tito, but he was in trouble. His lug beast was sinking into the sand. Please, help, said Tito in a language that sounded like screeches and warbles. BB-8 was in a hurry to complete his mission, but he felt sorry for Tito, and for the lug beast too. Maybe BB-8 could do something for them. Oh no! It's a trap! I'm gonna take you apart and sell you piece by piece, said Tito. You're even more valuable than the other one. What other one? A panel closed above BB-8, shutting out the sunlight. He realized the only thing scarier than being alone in the dark was not being alone in the dark. Then, the huge shape spoke. Please don't hurt me, it cried, trembling. It wasn't a monster at all, just a big gentle loading droid. BB-8 chirped happily at the massive thing. You promise? it asked worried. BB-8 nodded wholeheartedly and beeped and warbled some more. Your name is BB-8, said the loading droid. Mine is F3ZK, but you can call me Fez. The giant was no longer scared, and BB-8 was no longer alone. Fez told BB-8 he was part of a droid ship that was scouting Jakku. His ship was scheduled to leave that afternoon, but Fez was going to miss it because he was stuck in the cell. Scheduled to leave that afternoon, BB-8 was torn. Should he stay on Jakku in case Poe came back, or should he try and get off the planet in Fez's ship? The map had to be delivered, and soon, but first they had to get out of this trap. As BB-8 looked at the loose panel on the floor, he realized he had the perfect plan. Excuse me, Mr. Funny Lizard Man, we need your help, said Fez. Tito ran to see what was wrong. BB-8 was missing, and there was an opening in the floor. We were trying to escape and he fell in that hole, said Fez. Tito climbed down into the cell and looked down into the black space. I don't see him. Look closer. Tito bent over the hole. Closer, said Fez. Tito leaned way over the opening and peered in. Beep! With Tito trapped, the two droids were able to escape. Let's get out of here so I can go home, said Fez. You can come with me if you want. BB-8 let out a series of chirps. A mission, asked Fez. That sounds important. We'd better get you to the ship. It's picking us up at the ruins. BB-8 and Fez raced across the desert as fast as they could. The good news is, the funny little man is okay, said Fez as he noticed Tito in the distance. The bad news is, he's following us. Suddenly, a flock of angry steel peckers flew up between BB-8 and Fez. BB-8 fled one way and Fez went the other. The birds didn't know which droid to follow. Hey, over here, cried Fez, trying to get the steel peckers' attention. Run, BB-8! You have to complete your mission! Fez yelled. I'll save you! BB-8 didn't want to leave his friend, but he had to deliver the map, and Fez was already leading the steel peckers away. Once alone again, BB-8 continued on his journey. He hoped Fez would be alright. When BB-8 entered Kelvin Ravine, he met a scavenger family. Please, do you know where we could find something to eat? Asked the mother. My children are hungry. Was this another trap? The children crowded around BB-8. When he saw their thin faces, he knew it wasn't a trick. He remembered the food packets in the wrecked starship where he'd spent the night. 
but it was the opposite direction from where he was going. If he hurried, he could get the family to the food and still make it to the droid ship before it took off. If he hurried. BB-8 hurried. Next, BB-8 found a hapabore with an injured leg. BB-8 recalled the medical frigate he passed that morning. It would have first aid supplies, but going back for them would probably mean missing the droid ship. BB-8 thought for some time, trying to decide what to do. The hapabore moaned, and BB-8 made up his mind. Tito was never going to catch him on that slow-moving lugga beast. BB-8 almost felt sorry for the weird little guy. Almost, but not really. BB-8 finally made it back to the hapabore with a medical kit. The beast was so happy, it licked him and kissed him. Which wasn't necessarily a good thing. BB-8 worried that he was going to miss the droid ship because he had stopped to help so many people. Just then, as he reached the ruins, he saw something off in the distance. The droid ship! At last! Only it was preparing to launch. BB-8 raced for the ramp as it started to close. Then he saw another wonderful sight. Fez! Fez was okay. He had escaped the steel peckers, and he, too, was running for the droid ship. He waved happily to BB-8, who chirped with joy. They were going to make it off Jakku together, after all. But then, something terrible happened. Tito appeared, blocking their way. Fez started to panic, but BB-8 quickly formed a plan. He remembered what Tito had said, that BB-8 was more valuable than Fez. He also remembered how Fez had saved him from the steel peckers. BB-8 started to speed away from the ship, and Tito followed BB-8 instead of Fez. Where are you going, yelled Fez. BB-8 beeped in order. Okay, okay, I'll get on the ship, said Fez. Thank you, BB-8. I'll never forget you for helping me. The massive loading droid made it up the ramp just in time. BB-8 felt he had done the right thing in helping Fez, and the hungry family, and the injured Hapabore. But if he had done such good things, then why was this bad thing happening to him? He was so confused. Maybe Poe was wrong. Maybe you don't get what you give. Or then again, maybe you do.